guys, Brad M73 here, and I am back with uh, issue 10 of Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon. So, we are, we are starting to get some more hull pieces here. We've got some hull pieces. I see some metal parts in there. Looks like there is a part of a wall here. Um, and some screws and some little bits to screw everything together. Um, so, I guess without, well, let's see. Let's, before we get to that, I'm going to flip through the manual here. So we have the uh, YT-1300F and the YT-1300P, um, cargo transporters and people carriers. So we got some information about that. Um, again, it looks like we have a few different layouts uh, for the internals here. Uh, we've got nav computers. There it talks about the nav computer. I thought I remember seeing this before, but I don't know. Uh, we've got, oh, this is all the UK stuff, which I don't need. Um, some information about Dagobah. What was over, what was this stuff? Secrets of space flight. <gasps> I get it now. Wait a second. On all of the U.S. magazines, I've always noticed that there was a staple pulled up here. And sometimes there was like a little piece of paper. And I bet it was from ripping out all of these U.K. subscription forms. I bet that's what that was. Um, let's see. Some more info on Dagobah. And f more information on Dagobah. And then our next part. So we have um, internal details, existing components. This issue's assembly uses key components you have you already have including some sprues uh which have pieces already been take oh of which pieces already been taken which they haven't because i haven't gone back to do all of them yet um and so we've got a couple of sprues to put together uh we've got some uh parts to glue so i'm going to actually glue this first ring together and then um, and we've got some of the um, hull exterior and hull framing. So I don't know if I'm going to actually put the hull framing together. But um, I am going to go through all of this. And we're going to start, except for the painting, the details. I still don't have my paints yet. Um, this week, I promise I am going to run down and get all that stuff. So it, I haven't really been in a huge hurry for it because I want to kind of get more stuff together for the hold before I really start painting and gluing a ton of stuff. But the pads, I think, aren't really going to be that much of a problem. So, um, well, actually, I will... Okay, I'm going to set this up here so that I can see it. You guys won't be able to see it. And then we're going to just go ahead and open the package... Golly, I'm like, I can't open the package. There we go. Yes, I can. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we have got these little screw bits. So I'm going to leave those in there for the moment. Uh, this little thing I don't need. Uh, we have some hull framing. And we've got this piece, which, I mean, I have no clue where this thing goes. Maybe like around like this, maybe? Maybe like that, I don't know. I'm assuming that this piece will probably go there. But I don't think, I don't have any instructions on how to put these together yet. So I guess I'll have to wait off on the, on the hall framing bit. So I'm going to set those aside. We also have an extra, you know, a wall piece here, and I can actually, ah, I can, I see I haven't even glued any of that together yet. So I can actually take this, well actually I guess it would go over here, and it would fit right down like that, and then this piece goes in there, I'm assuming that these either screw together, or I don't know, they do something together. And this will fit, fit like this. 
So again, I don't have any of this screwed down or glued or anything like that. So uh, we're coming around and I guess next week we're probably going to have this side, I guess. Um, it's either it's either this one or this back. It might actually be this back piece here. Uh, well, actually, it'll show. It'll say issue eleven. So we get another piece and goodbye screwdriver thingy. Um, so yeah, we'll get get this piece of the wall, and we still won't have the other. We still won't have this one because there's another doorway over here as well. So all right, well, I am going to get busy um, gluing. So I'm going to move my camera into a different position here so that I can get started on gluing. Actually, I don't even really need that right now because uh, I'm not going to glue that yet. But I am going to glue. I'm going to cut all these out. Uh, we're going to glue all these on here. So I'm going to go uh, get some paper towel to work on, and we'll be re and I'll reposition my camera and all that good stuff. So here we go. Okay, so here we are. We've got these uh, sprues here with all these little pads. So how many are there? 12, eight, oh my gosh, 18 of them. <sighs> and they're gonna be glued up into these little slots. Now these slots don't, well, I guess they are all the same. So, all right, well, without further ado, I'm just gonna start cutting here. And, um, Hopefully this positioning of the camera is a little bit better. Now, um, I've watched several videos on these, uh, and, and I've had a few people actually recommend uh, gl gluing these on first before... Uh, we actually sand them down. So that's actually what I'm going to do. And um, hopefully I can do this without the assistance of gloves. Because um, I thought about using some, uh, some latex gloves, which I actually bought like a whole thing of latex gloves um, for this project, uh, mainly for painting. Um, but... Um, but if I don't end up using them, at least I'll have a bunch of extra large condoms, you know, for later. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it was a terrible joke. Or I don't know. Maybe you guys are laughing. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. All right. I'm just kind of getting my toothpick ready here. And they kind of say to to put the glue on this first. So I got a little piece of cardboard out here that I have left over from the last episode. And I'm just gonna put some out here. Okay, like that. So I guess we just, it doesn't really say where we need to start. It just says, Kind of looks like it's starting down here on one of the sides. And of course, my hand is getting in the way again. So whoever you were that suggested I move my camera, I'm very, very sorry. But uh, if my hand gets... The problem with your my hands getting in the way is I have two of them. So if I only had one hand, it would be all right. But I actually have two. Um, oh, man. Oh, no. I've got glue on my finger. All right. So these things actually kind of snap into place. And um, you can kind of see there, hopefully, if it'll focus on that. Might be a little bit out, out of focus, but, um, hmm, okay. I'm kind of wondering maybe if I should, I'm going to try one going the opposite route and putting glue into the pad first, like so, 
and then trying to align the pad and kind of snapping it up into place. That actually might be a little bit better. Um, I'll have to put a cup. I'll have to whoops. I have to put these on, and then then see if any of them start to you know pop off or anything. And it's kind of a shame because they've got you know a decent amount of weathering. Come on. Oh man. Actually have a decent. Come on, refocus. My camera has not wanted to really refocus on things up close today. But anyway, I don't know if you can see. There's actually a decent amount of weathering on there. So, all right, so two down, 16 to go. I'm going to try this again. I think that worked pretty good. So, I'm just taking it, putting the glue right in there. And then I'm just kind of holding it like so, laying this over top. And then I can just, you know, you can hopefully, I don't know if you guys can hear the snap, but there's, there is like a little click as they snap into the little groove. So that's helpful to know that, uh, you know, you have it actually seated properly. At least I hope it's seated properly. I have to get another drip of super glue out here. Um, one thing I for, forgot to do was to get some super glue solvent. So uh, when I make the trip down to the hobby store this week, um, I will definitely be buying some super glue solvent. So, all right, so we got three down, a couple more to go here. So, uh, try not to get it on my fingers. Uh oh. This one, ah. This one is going to be. This one's not snapping up into place. Let's try it in a different slot then. There, there we go. All right. Um, hmm. Well, let's try. I think there's something like... I, I'm pretty sure that there's at least... Hmm. Well, this one's not going on there either. Well, there's at least two of these rings because um, there we go because there's one on you know either side of the cargo hold and then I know that there's at least three that go into the hallway from the other side you know from the where the um, the main computer is and then there's the cockpit tube that goes into the what is it? The um, like the cockpit. Did I just say the cockpit tube that goes into the? And then I got confused. Oh man, I swear I'm getting old. Um, it's just it's not even funny anymore. Um, of course, you guys are laughing. I'm not. Um, all right. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of this glue onto this one, like there, and then. Hopefully I can get this one to pop in place. Come on. Ah. Come on. It's just not wanting to go at all. Um, I wonder if I can, there, there we go. Just took some, 
Um, I don't have, I've got these needle nose pliers, but they don't have any grip on the inside or to smooth. So I just squoze them together there. So hopefully uh, that won't come out. All right, so now we need six more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I don't know if I should be test fitting these ahead of time or not. See, that one goes right in, so. Eh. Super glue is adhering to my finger pretty good. Okay. No problem on that one. Again, my hand is getting in the way. <gasps> Ooh, I'm hearing some thunder outside again. We've been having a lot of storms this summer. A lot of nighttime storms. Some nice loud ones. Um, probably won't be able to hear it on on the microphone here but in the case that you do hear some rumbling in the back ground that's probably what it is the thunderstorm okay so we got that going on there actually this is going faster than i thought it would um and hopefully if you know by using the technique of actually gluing these in place first and then sanding them later um you know it's just going to make this job a lot less painful so uh, and so once we once i sand all these off um there, you know you can probably see let's see can i get a can i get a refocus there we go you can probably see all the little bits where the sprue is uh, remaining. So we'll just take a file, sand all those down, and then once I get my wash kits in and things like that, um, I'll go back and um, wash those, uh, dirty them up again. And I also want to kind of dirty up this ring a little bit as well so it's not so gray looking. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am just going to cut these off. And I think on Monday or Tuesday of this week is when I'm going to be running down to the hobby shop and finally <clears throat> picking up everything that I'm going to really need, tools and everything. So I, I'll get, you know, an actual sprue cutter and, um, and we'll uh, be in business as far as paint goes I hope I hope I get everything I need I've got a list of paints probably about 12 or 13 different paints um, some uh, primary colors so I'll be able to mix them I'm also going to be need, you know needing some mixing canisters and things like that or you know just just things so that I can mix up a batch of paint for uh, and uh, you know have it on hand but uh, I, I really want to do most of my external painting, um, you know, all at one time. I know a lot of you guys are actually, uh, from the looks of it on, on YouTube and the build diaries and things like that, uh, some people are actually kind of build or painting their panels as they go. And I just wouldn't be able to do that because I would, I mean, I would be like, I'd forget, you know, oh, I forgot what paint mixture I used on, you know, a certain... <gasps> What the heck was that? I would have swore I felt... Oh, that's my tripod. Sorry, I thought I felt like a big spider. I had the door open earlier, and I thought I felt a spider running up my leg. Um, kind of a funny yet terrifying story about spiders is we have these wolf spiders here. They're, it's a type of wolf spider, and I can't really remember them off the top of my head. But they get pretty big. I mean, they're probably... You know, if there was one on my palm of my hand it'd probably be you know 
about the size of my palm. The main body isn't really that big. It's probably, you know, the size of the end of my pinky. But ah, I just glued my finger. Um, and so anyway, I, I was uploading a video to YouTube. Actually, I was processing a video to be uploaded to YouTube. And um, I was laying in bed, falling asleep, and I'd forgotten that I uh, had to upload the video. And so I shot up out of bed, and I ran into my office, and I felt something on the floor, like, well, I had, you know, first of all, bare feet, okay? And so, you know, I'm like, sometimes I'll take a snack or something into my office and I'll eat in there. And I thought to myself, oh, man, I must have dropped something on the floor, like a crumb or something. So, um, but I, I, it was dark in there, you know, didn't turn the light on or anything. And um, so I look down and there's, I see something on the floor there. And I thought to myself, oh, man, there's like this big crumb on the floor. So I get up and I walk over, turn the light on. And when I pick it up, it's the it's like the spider. And all of its legs are like, you know, curled in on itself. And then, I, of course, I get like the heebie-jeebies because I just stepped on a gigantic spider um, barefoot, barefooted. That's something I would never do knowingly. And... Um, <laughs> Now I have kind of a gross, funny spider story to tell. And uh, a lot of people are probably hate me and are unsubscribing now that I've told that story. <laughs> that story. Oh, man. This is actually going pretty, pretty good. I think I will wear gloves next time, though. Maybe. I don't know. I think the... Well, I don't know. I don't know when we get our next ring in, so... Do not know. And I think we do all of the, um, well, the first major assembly of the hull, I think an issue like, f it's either f 12 or 13, or it might even be 14, I don't know. But they, they should be in this week. Um, I'm getting like a bunch of issues all back to back, so it'll be pretty cool. All right, so we got three more of these to go. This this actually isn't nearly as panic attack inducing as I thought it would be. I, I mean, I'm being kind of silly when I'm saying panic attack. I know that panic attacks are very serious for some people. Um, but, uh, no, don't glue it. Oh, man, that's on there. Oh, it's really on there. Oh, gosh. I'm gluing my fingers together here. So this is why I like to use gloves when I handle super glue because, um, well, you know, it's just... It's better that way. Okay. Ah, see. I've glued myself to the pad there. Ah, it's just some weathering. You know, put some skin on it. It's, it'll be like leather, you know. <laughs> Would you like some brad leather? Ooh, that's... I don't even want that. Brad leather is not an option. Unless it's just on that one piece there. Yeah. It's like Silence of the Lambs or something. All right, we got one more of these bad boys to go, and then I'm going to let these dry. And then I'm going to come back and sand them up. All right. So there we have it, folks. We have the first ring done of at least... Let's see, how many rings are there? Six, I, there's at least eight. Because there's three in each tube. There's two tubes that I know of. There's going to be one of each of these on either side of the bay, the docking, or the cargo bay here. And then there's going to be, I think there's one more tube that comes out of the other side of the bay. I think there's one ring in there. So we have this there. And um, 
Yeah, so this is, I mean, that's like, that's really small. I It was, you know, just to kind of put it in perspective with the glue thing, you know, the glue bottle there. Um, I, I Watching videos and seeing pictures doesn't really do justice on how small these pieces are. And I mean, I'm a pretty big guy, though. I mean, I'm six foot four. Um, and, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm very tall, but, um, yeah, these pieces are tiny. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside. Oh, if you guys, um, are curious as to what type of, of glue I'm using, this is Loctite super glue. And the keyword that you're wanting to look for is, uh, let's see here if I can get that. The keyword that you want to look for is this cyanoacrylate glue. It's all super glue should contain that, but that's that's the keyword that you're looking for is the cyanoacrylate um, for doing this project. They specifically recommend it multiple, multiple, multiple times. They say you don't want to use traditional model glue. Um, we can also throw away this spent sprue. Hey, that kind of rhymed a little bit, but yeah, they. They say that you don't want to use regular old model glue. Um, that you just want to use the cyanoacrylate stuff. So super glue it is. And supposedly it bonds really well with all the stuff. And we don't have any problems with that. So that's good. No problems. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it, I think, for this episode. This has been, you know, it doesn't really tell us. It, it does want us to glue some additional pieces into into this wall piece but again i don't have my paint set in um and i so i'm not going to do that this actually fits right up here like so and this actually glues into place i guess um there's a little notch up there and then i thought there was like an x or something like that Okay, I see like little circular spots, so I don't want to use that side. I'm going to put this, put that in like this. Um, so there's there's some extra tubing and things that are going to go on that. So I might actually come back and do kind of like a, what is this, episode 10 point something. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out sometime down the line once I get more of my stuff in stock here. And then they say, you know, you want to glue this on the outside. Um, there are some little, whoops, there are some little pegs down here. So I don't know if that's supposed to go into anything or if they just do, in fact, glue exactly like this. I'm going to have to look at some more pictures and things like that. But um, that's actually, you know, pretty much what it's going to look like. That looks pretty nice. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks again for watching. I know we didn't really do a whole lot. I mean, we kind of did a lot, but I was dreading doing my first, you know, padded ring, and it really wasn't that bad. But, you know, I'm looking at almost a half hour to do the one, and I guess if you have, you know, multiples, you can probably knock them out a lot more quickly. But um, it wasn't that bad. You know, you could do easily do one a day and it not really, it, it won't make you crazy. Uh, at least this hasn't made me crazy yet. So in a way it was kind of therapeutic because I thought it was going to be an absolute nightmare. And the fact that it really wasn't um, was pretty nice. Um, in the meantime, actually what I'm going to do, I'll probably just do this off camera, but um, I'll come back in. And just gently see if I can uh, zoom in on this for you guys. Come on, please focus. There we go. So I'm going to come in and um, it's pretty good right there. And then once I once I wash, you know, you can see how this piece it's going to turn a little bit white, you know, a little bit lighter. But um, you know, I'll just be able to go all the way around. And um, 
It's like I'm doing my fingernails, which I never do. There, I've just done two of those. So that should take, you know, 10 minutes or so, maybe less, to go around and do all those. So, um, so we have that to look forward to as well. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you back for issue 11, which I don't really know what we're doing. I think it's more putting in all the little tubes and things like that into this, like this piece and the rest of the hold. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we get done. Again, I've, I've kind of decided that I want to get all of this stuff together before I really start to do a good paint job because I would really love to prime all these wall pieces paint them all one color, kind of like a, a grayish tone, <clears throat> and then just start, you know, maybe do like a, uh, almost maybe like an aluminum coat under the gray and then put the gray over top of that and then just weather on some black and scratch it and sand it and, you know, so that some of that aluminum back comes off. Um, I still need to prime it in the whole nine yards. So, uh, and I still don't even have my airbrush yet. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't really want to glue too much together with this because I, there are some additional steps that I want to do. But, um, but I'll put this together for the time being. Um, we will... Um, uh, just set this down. Whoops, let's see if I can get this so you guys can see what I've got so far. One of the other things that I, I also need to do are the seat backs for this area right here. This should, should be the keyword, push right into place. And I think it did, except on this side. There we go. And so there you can see, if I turn it around to the light, you, you know, it's starting to come together. Um, this is the back piece. Now it looks like we have a screw hole here, which would screw this up right there but then this piece this piece right here is actually canted back so um it doesn't actually go straight up i don't think do i have that maybe do i have that in wrong no it's in there correctly <clears throat> let me set this down push this down in here again Oh, get in there. Come on, now. Nah. Come on, now. Nah. There we go. Um, oh, no. There we go. Maybe I just didn't have it pushed in all the way. That's much better. <laughs> I was like, I was like, this piece isn't even straight. What, you know, what kind of kit is this? What, what kind of low quality kit did I pay for? Fifteen hundred dollars for. Um, oh, and then I also did um, uh, sand up these bits on the edge of the seat. This one actually, now that I'm looking at it, I probably should sand this a little bit more. This one turned out okay, and the back is like nice and smooth now too. So once I had that, uh, once I got that, I mean the seat just went right in, and I mean I'll have to glue it. And actually, I still need to do some sanding down here. But again, I don't want to glue this until I get all of this primed and repainted and all that stuff. So, and again, I'm kind of one of those people where I don't really care about this. But if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right so that it looks nice. So that it just doesn't look generic like it does right now. So, that's, uh, that's what I'm planning to do. All right, guys. I think that I'm going to wrap it up. And we will see you for episode or issue 11. So again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I haven't bored you to tears. And um, hopefully you're learning something. If you're not, you know, 10, up, 10, 10 issues ahead of me, um, you might be 10 issues behind and catching up. But um, uh, if you have any questions about the kit or things that I'm doing, definitely leave some comments uh, in the comment section I'll be happy to answer any of your questions about uh, what I'm doing or, you know, things like that. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I will uh, try to respond to each and every one of them. And, uh, and again, we'll see you next time. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It helps my channel out tremendously. Um, thank you for helping me reach 16,000 subscribers. I just passed 16,000 the other day. Or actually, no, today. Well, 
Actually, it's past midnight, so it was the other day. So, or actually, no, it's not. It's still four minutes, so... Oh. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Again, I'm Brad M73. Uh, bye for now.